Oh hello, you've just caught me looking at this background image here. Something that I found incredibly striking, and this is a pretty old image. Vision looks like he's doing a Nazi salute. Hadn't noticed it before, thought I'd run it as a background image, noticed it now. I don't know if he's got affiliation with Hydra and their evil taskmaster, Red Skull, as, you know, a side wing from Nazi... Yeah, you know the story with regards to Hydra and stuff, but... Looks bad. Vision! What were you thinking? I'm moving on fairly swiftly. Let's talk about the champions that are coming in June and July. So, I missed the boat with regards to the leaked champions video that Marvel Contest Champions Trucos and Mods kind of put together. They put a lovely video together of leaked champions. So I thought, let's do a video all about those particular champions and their abilities that we'll likely see next month in June and in a month after in July. So let's get you up to speed. First of all, Domino is coming, obviously, release of the Deadpool 2 movie, which is going to be incredibly exciting. We're going to see Domino, who's in it. Massacre, who is a different champion altogether, and again, we'll go into the abilities in a moment, but is a kind of different nationality kind of version. There's a Deadpool Gold. This is one I think will probably be a boss of some kind. It seems fairly likely that, because, well, Kabam like to go left, so left, left field with regards to champion choices. Moving on swiftly to July's champions, and first off, we've got Wasp, a kind of a movie version, which will represent a lot of the things that you're going to see in the upcoming Ant-Man and Wasp film. And also Ghost, who also appears in the movie as well. Fairly likely these two champions will factor in. Maybe, maybe there's another champion that will be the boss. First up is Domino, and Domino is incredibly unique. Her power is all about luck, a power that wasn't seen to be a good enough power for the people that tried to make her. She was part of a breeding program in order to produce something that could be weaponized, as most kind of Marvel stories play out, similar to Logan's story, where the where X-23 was kind of like bread made, and then she's... Then taken away by her birth mother or oh, obviously in the logan's case it was some lady that was there and was going this is ethically wrong so yes it's important to spring out and do the good thing by taking the powerful mutant away from the bad guys domino's theoretical powers are all about luck manipulation which is incredibly fascinating and could be something incredibly new within marvel contest of champions one big disappointment would probably be if they go along the lines of creating something with regards to ability reduction if that would be a, a thing for to produce i think that would be a little bit lazy on kabam's behalf to kind of develop a champion that is all about this kind of ability reduction and obviously ability enhancement for uh, domino because that theoretically would be inbuilt to the champion if we're looking at say taking down like the chances of scarlet witch getting uh, loads of different positive buffs and that's being reduced down that could be all right ish but i think with regards to luck the side of things where she could really understand what kind of uh, champions are fighting it. So say if they're hitting in a light attack, their evade, her evade would be against that because she would be able to predict that element of light attack. Uh, the same thing would be to things like uh, special attacks, the the kind of the luck aspect of landing it, it's un unlucky. Uh, I don't know if this would be play out well with stuff with regards to uh, some sort of evade. So yeah, either way, I'm excited to see what they could come up for this champion. Domino's luck based manipulation isn't the only thing that makes her incredibly unique or incredibly exciting as a character and a potential champion. The reflexes side of things mean that she's able to take on any situation of fighting skills and maybe gun kind of use because obviously she's an expert marksman so you're probably going to see something with regards to gun usage in the game when she goes in it could be quite interesting to see how she plays out with things like bleed like will she have luck enough to kind of uh, exploit a deep wound in the enemy obviously with no things like regeneration it will mean that she won't be able to stay for a long great a greater amount of time but maybe her luck side of things with regards to increased luck with hitting a critical could make her more interesting to use in different and higher content where you need a higher health pool or maybe you need to be on it with regards to intercepts and evades to use in things like act 5 or any kind of difficult content like alliance wars as well when it gets really competitive my personal hope is they could do a character similar in look to zavi beats in the upcoming deadpool 2 movie Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case based on image rights. I think there's still stuff that's been aired out between Fox and also uh, with Marvel with regards to taking back the rights for certain things. However, though, um, I, I would like to see that version. I think that it could be the other version, the one on the left-hand side. So, yeah, here's hoping that we could we could get that version. Next up is Massacre. I think a lot of people were very unexpectedly going to go... 
what the hell? But, you know, hang with me. It's a, it's a cool character. There's nothing really going for Massacre as a, as a character and as a potential champion. So, I don't know what angle they're going to work with this one because, uh, yeah, he's going to be a skill-based champion based on the fact he has no powers. And we'll, we'll go on to that in a moment. There's not really much to explain. He has no powers. But an interesting backstory in his link, his kind of idolization of a character like Deadpool is based on him being a priest in Mexico. So he's Mexican. So this is cool to see some Mexican uh, representation, some Southern American representation. Very, very good to see. Either way, used to be a priest. Deadpool came to see him, said all his sins. This is what I've been up to. And he's gone, right, well, there's no good in the world. As a priest, he devotes to kind of positivity and kind of delivering God's word at the same time. Thinking that the world has hope, but he feels that the world does not have hope. And his plan is, first of all, to clear up and clean up Mexico and then move on to other areas by linking up with his idol, Deadpool. Everyone seems to really idolise Deadpool. He's a cool character. He's kind of an anti-hero. Yeah, he likes to kind of kick bad guy's ass and he, you know, he's incredibly funny. What's not to love? And yeah... No powers. He's got nothing to his name. Obviously, he's going to use things like guns and he's going to use things like his katanas. But in fa actual fact, like, there's nothing really going for him. His suit doesn't do anything more. Uh, he rides around in a motorcycle. Apart from that, there's nothing really going for this character. Uh, I, but I do think this will probably there'll probably be some kind of angle with this. Very odd if they give him any kind of mutant-based powers in the game, but I sincerely doubt that. There was a talk about maybe the Deadpool Gold version would be the one that we put into the game. I don't see how that would particularly work with, with the game unless they changed out certain aspects. But having Massacre in as a boss to have nothing going for him, they would have to load him on with a load of buffs in order to make him a formidable opponent. That's why I think that X, uh, Deadpool Gold is going to actually be the boss and then the other champion that's going to be released is Massacre. Next up is Ghost. Piss off, Ghost! Says Corgan, yes indeed, it is Ghost in the game. Not, um, obviously, Contest of Memes 2 when I did the piss off Ghost thing. If you watch that, you probably know. If not, then I'll probably have to do a Contest of Memes 4 with uh, this Ghost thing in. In any case, Ghost Tech is the tech that is all about this particular character. And obviously, this will be the character for the upcoming movie. That's called Ant-Man and Wasp. The main villain, which is a female, which is fantastic. The second female since, obviously, Hela as a main villain. So, really... Really good to see this kind of added element to this, especially because Ghost was theoretically unknown, so she will be theoretically known in Ant-Man and Wasp. And whatever name they give her, will this be a kind of a subject that she was the one that had created the tech, or was there someone else that created the tech for her? Either way, the whole motivation about this particular character will be subject to very big interest for the Marvel community when the film goes in cinemas next month. The main source of ghost power is all about his suit. His suit gives him the ability to pass through objects and, and change things from the inside, the kind of the way that Ant-Man functions, except that obviously he doesn't squeeze himself to small size to get through gaps. Ghost goes through those things, so he doesn't need to, uh, or she won't need to go through said gaps. I suspect based on the fact this is like a true Marvel film, they'll be able to get hold of the rights for the images, so expect something that looks a lot like this character in the game, and it will be a she. Next up is Nadia Pym, or Nadia Dine, whatever she's called. The fact is, she is going to be the female version of Ant-Man, except she's a lot better. And this is going to be really exciting to see what they can do with this champion. Imagine a champion like Ant-Man, but obviously he's not hes not great, but Wasp is so much better. Nadia's backstory differs a lot from what we've seen in the MCU, so go to the link in the description to this particular page and give it a read, understand a little bit more about Wasp. However though, there's a lot of depth to this character, a lot of turmoil, backlash and, and and frustrations. So there's a lot of kind of great crafting there with regards to motivations going through her life. As we have seen in the MCU, we've seen a character that is a little bit despondent and angry with her father for her his focused on on things, especially with the loss of his wife and the uh, and wasp's mother so there's a lot of things to really take into consideration and uh, the difference with comic book stuff is interesting as well well, well worth a read now i don't think they're going to cover this on the mcu but wasp can literally shrink to molecular level of any size and also get up to any kind of size based on the fact of the pin particles being in a bloodstream that is pretty incredible but like i said i don't think this is going to be a thing in game either science or tech with this champion uh, but the main thing and to talk about is she's got 
wasp stings and these wasp stings are from hand blasters this can be seen in this gif here which shows the blast in process this comes from the trailer of uh, ant-man wasp which is incredibly exciting i'd love to see this in game and add that kind of improvement to ant-man uh well it's not going to improve ant-man but it's going to be like hey well we've got something in the ant-man universe that is uh, able to do a lot more and i really think that wasp is going to do a hell of a lot more than ant-man especially from an attacking point of view some people opt for Ant-Man as being a defensive aspect with regards to obviously things with glancing and his abilities but when it comes to like an attacking side of things nah not not for me really not for me the poisons are pretty whack then there's a load of other things about the champion that I don't think are particularly good but again that's my own opinion however though defensively yeah quite quite good but yeah, having something in the Ant-Man universe that can just fire blasters, do the biosting stuff that we need, as well as just take down enemies. I really hope this champion does deliver that for people that are fans of the Ant-Man universe. So that's been our video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button and subscribe for Marvel Contest Champions based content. And what we've discussed, are you excited to see these champions? What do you think their, their kind of classification is going to be? Is it going to be a case Domino is going to be mutant? Are we going to have that uh, instead of, was she meant to be science based on the kind of the breeding program? How do we work this? Is it a mutation based on birth? Are we then going into blade mutation based on birth territory and having that big decision discussion and big argument what are your thoughts leave them in the comment section below i've been rich man if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe for marvel contest champion space content and as always i shall catch you on the flip side bye bye for now